guys, it's Christy and Joe Keto from the Keto Kitchen, the Always Messy Keto Kitchen. What's happening? What's everybody up to? All right, we also got somebody else here, Christy. Do we have someone else in the kitchen? Oh, Keto Kai! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not so Keto Kai is eating all the food before we're even ready to eat. Mom, all right, please. so. More please? More please, what do you want more of? Mom made me. Yeah, okay, so this is what we're making tonight, guys. Something that is Kai approved already. Kai approved? Yeah. Yay! Um, so it's Kai approved already, and we are making meatballs. This is super versatile, guys. Um, you can uh, make these Italian, you can make these uh, Mexican, you can make barbecue meatballs. Tonight we're just having um, basic meatballs that can go in anything. So you'll see in the recipes, just spice with onion powder, garlic powder. That's one of our keto tips. You want to um, uh, you want to make things easy. Use onion powder, garlic powder instead of onions and garlic. It saves you a little bit of time in the kitchen. We're all about efficiency and saving on carbohydrates. So, um, so a couple of things. We uh, from the meatball standpoint, we use grass-fed uh, ground beef. Ground beef is pretty ground chuck is uh, you know on the inexpensive side. So if you can get grass fed, it is so much better for you. If you can get organic, even better. But but do what you can, guys. The um, we're all about convenient and cheap. Um, so uh, so then we are uh, in that you mix in an egg. It's super easy. We've taken the bread out like you normally would see in a meatballs recipe, um, and uh, and then um, and then we uh, and then we replace that with Parmesan cheese. A lot of recipes out there you'll see mozzarella cheese. We really like the hard cheeses because they're a better lactose. If you can find a goat Parmesan cheese, even better. Um, I can't see the comments there, but Christy, you can. So we've got. Benny, Carrie, and Greg have all joined us. Hey guys, hope you're having a great night, morning, wherever you are in the world. So, hey Ben Bailey. So, okay, Ben Bailey, legend. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so then we are always looking for ways to replace like the pastas and the things that people uh, miss. So, we're making them with a zucchini noodle. So, Let's take a look at that baby. Can you show them the spiraler? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about zucchini noodling. Um, okay. Hey, so this is the spiraler that we have. Okay. More oh, meatballs. hold on. Stop. Stop everything. Kai needs another meatball. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this is the spiraler hey, that Ryan. we got. I think it's like 40 bucks or something like that. And I got it, like it leaves a lot left over. So you can see on this plate, we got some leftover stuff that we're going to cut up and we're actually going to use it in the pesto. So you can always use the food. But now a lot of places are selling spiraled um, zucchini things now. You know, I always suggest going to local markets and buying local and buying fresh produce. But look, again, if you're busy, you can sometimes buy spiral noodles. So, okay, so while Kai eats more of the freaking meatballs, um, we're going I don't going know to... if we're getting any meatballs tonight, actually. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> as well, with the, with the noodling, that's about um, five zucchinis right there, five medium zucchinis. So it takes quite a bit. Like you'd want to, for a family of four, you'd want like a dozen. But again, they're inexpensive as well. But those are the little Lebanese zucchinis, right? Those aren't the big, massive ones from the store. Exactly. Yeah. Now, as far as pesto, um, we are going to make our own pesto tonight. Super easy. The recipe is in the post. Basil, which is super healthy. It's a great detoxifier. It's great for your skin. It's all full of vitamins. Um, so we're going to use uh, fresh basil. And we actually normally use pine nuts, but we're out in pine nuts. So we're going to use pecans, any nut, right? You don't need many of them. And then olive oil. And we're going to put in our absolute favorite keto food, which is um, avocado. Oh, wait, I got a close up on that mustache. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to announce that yes, it is November. I don't think it looks cool. Um, I'm almost done Someone's November. Someone's gonna watch this. Give in December. to November. We should put the link in so yeah. everybody can uh, help with my pain and yours. So hey, eating, Connie. Hi, Christine. So we put avocado. Avocado is a great way to add uh, healthy fats. You're also gonna put extra virgin olive oil, Evo, as the kids are calling it. If you want to be hip, um, and uh, that's a good organic one as well. Another tip: get olive oils that are in dark green jars. Um, okay, what are you up to, Kyle? I'll get you more meatballs. So we're gonna put that leftover zucchini in there, the avocado, and then um, basil, a couple bunches of basil, um, pecans, or whatever nut that you have. Thanks for being super noisy. Guys, going by the stove. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Michelle. Hi. Hey, we're hungry. Yeah, keep going. So, um, so then, once we do that. It all goes in the blender, whatever type of blender you have, magic bullet, doesn't matter. It's super simple, super easy. Um, if you don't want to get, if you don't want to 
go through the trouble of getting the basil. There's a lot of good pestos out there. This is a gluten-free pesto. Um, and we actually bought it and didn't realize. One thing to watch out for, it's got canola oil in it. That's something that we don't recommend, canola oil or a lot of the vegetable oils. Um, so stay away from, if you're looking in the grocery store, look to avoid that, look for a good healthy oil. There's loads of them um, that you can find out there. But if you, uh, if you get lazy again, this is all full of a lot of help. Um, so, and, and a lot of them you can find with olive oils instead. Guys, all we'd right. love to know, before we go any further, we'd love to know, have you tried zucchini noodles? What is your favorite sauce? Give us some tips on how we can make this more creative next time. Yeah, and what are your other noodle substitutes? If you found oh, yes. some good ones and some good brands of noodle substitutes, what are they and what are you using them with? Let's all share. <laughs> Kai. Oh my goodness, so, Kai, what's going on with so you? So here, come over here, Christy. Okay. So here's the meatballs. We used a, a pound of ground beef, and yeah. as you can see, this is what the uh, they look like on the <laughs> pan. As soon as Christy figures out what it is. We got a new device here. We're learning. <laughs> We're go. learning. So you make them about that size. That's about a pound of meat. That's no longer hot anymore, so you are okay, Kai. If you want to stay right at the pan and just consume meatballs all night long. Okay, you can. Um, so obviously Kai approved. We got the pecans. I like to always roast the nuts uh, a little bit. So they'll go in there. We're gonna dump it all on the, on the thing and then mix it all together. It is as simple as that. Um, so nothing fancy, super easy. Did I miss anything, Christy? Are we gonna do the, ba the pesto now or are you just gonna walk them through the recipe later? Yeah, just walk through. Basically everything in the, uh, in the thing. It's, it's, it's cool. uh, basil, uh, the nuts, the avocado, the zucchini, um, some uh, garlic, if you want to use fresh garlic, mm. go for it. Um, and then a little bit of, again, a, uh, we use the goat's milk Parmesan cheese, very easy on the stomach. Um, uh, but use whatever cheese that you uh, can. This is all super interchangeable, super easy. Yep. We're gonna put some uh, pictures of the finished product in here. Yeah, and guys, if you're taking something like this to work, just leave the sauce off and bring it to work, put the sauce on tomorrow so it doesn't get soggy, but it's really stable for a next day meal. There you go. Okay. All right, you listen. want to say goodbye? Excuse me, miss. Goodbye. Ah, hold on. Goodbye. There she is. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Thanks yeah. for watching. Don't forget to put all your tips in there for us.